In today's video, I am going to explain the problem from functions of complex variables. See here, I have to find out the analytic function whose real part is given as u is equal to x by x square plus y square. See, in the solution, what is the real part given? The real part given as u is equal to, this is x by x square plus y square. And now, I have to find out the analytic function. See here, before finding that, if I derive with respect to x, so this is of uv rule. As you know that, according to the uv rule, derivative of u by v is nothing but, so this is v square, v u dash minus u v dash. So according to this formula, I am going to make a derivative with respect to x. This is v square, that is x square plus y square whole square and this is x square plus y square. I have to make a derivative with respect to x. This is 1 minus x times of the derivative of v is to x with respect to x. Therefore, dou u by dou x value is nothing but this is x square plus y square minus 2x square by this is x square plus y square whole square and the value here will be this is dou u by dou x value will be so this is y square minus x square by x square plus y square whole square and this is dou u by dou x and i am mentioning it as equation number a and the next one what is u given so u as you know that u is given as x pi so this is x by x square plus y square so what is this u is given as x by x square plus y square now i am going to differentiate with respect to y so dou u by dou y so with respect to y x will be constant i am bringing aside and uh, you know that the derivative of 1 by x is derivative of 1 by x is nothing but this is minus 1 by x square now i have to differentiate with respect to x that is minus 1 by this is x square plus y square whole square and again for y square this is 2y if i multiply this is dou u by dou y is equal to this is minus 2 x y by x square plus y square whole square so i got the value of dou u by dou x as well as dou u by dou y this is equation number two and now i am going to use milnes thompson method according to the milnes thompson method we have i am going to use milnes thompson method So, according to the Milnes Thompson method, we have f of z is equal to, see here, f of z is equal to, this is u plus i into v. If I make a derivative with respect to x, that is f dash of x is equal to, this is dou u by dou x plus i times of, this is dou v by dou x. Now, I am going to use the CR equations. According to the CR equations, see, the CR equations will be, dou u by dou x is equal to this is dou v by dou y and next dou u by dou y is equal to this is minus dou v by dou x these two are the cr equations as u is given the real part is given so we don't have the value of dou u by dou v by dou x so i am transforming this in terms of u so in place of dou v by dou dou x i can write as minus dou u by dou y so i am using this cr equations in order to transfer in, in terms of u therefore so this will be transformed as this will be transformed as f dash of z is equal to see here this is f dash of z is equal to this is dou u by dou x we have this value and in place of dou v by dou x i am writing minus see here minus dou u by dou y already there is minus i here so we have both the values ready here dou u by dou x what is dou u by dou x from equation a and b i am going to substitute dou u by dou x value and dou u by dou y value from equations a and b from equations a and b i am going to substitute the values as f dash of z is equal to so this is f dash of z is equal to what is dou u by dou x that is y square minus x square by x square plus y square whole square minus i times of dou u by dou y. So, what is dou u by dou y here? So, this is minus 2xy by this is x square plus y square whole square. So, after that what we have to do? So, 
according to the milnes thomson method i have to replace see here in this i can replace x by z and y by 0 so in place of x i am going to substitute z and in place of y 0 so f dash of z value is equal to so in place of y 0 minus this is z square by this is z square and this is plus 0 whole square and this is i times of y here 0 into anything is 0 therefore f dash of z is equal to this is minus z square by this is z power 4 so if i cancel it for this is 2 times then this will be minus 1 by z square so here minus 1 by z square now see here f dash of z is equal to minus 1 by z square now i am going to integrate on both sides for the analytic function if i integrate on both sides then what happens here integration and derivative got cancelled and f of z is equal to so this value will be plus 1 by z plus c c so the integration here will be so this will be minus this is z power minus 2 plus 1 this is again minus 2 plus 1 plus c so this will be z power minus 1 by minus 1 plus c so minus minus got cancelled and this will be 1 by z so this is how we have to make a derivative so f of z is equal to what happened here 1 by z so this is the analytic function so what is z here z is nothing but x plus i y if i multiply with x minus i y on from in the numerator and denominator see what remains here so if i multiply then f of z value is equal to this is x minus i by times of a plus b into a minus b is nothing but a square plus b square so f of z is equal to the real part is x pi x square plus y square plus this is minus i times of y by this is x square plus y square so usually f of z is nothing but so f of z is nothing but u plus i v therefore the real part u is equal to the real part u is equal to x pi x square plus y square and v the imaginary part is minus y by this is x square plus y square so this is the real part this is the imaginary part and here this will be this will be the analytic function so it was asked to find out the analytic function so you got it so this is how we have to solve and this is also so simple and the next equation here if you see y is given as x square plus y square so here the second question is u is given as y by x square plus y square so this is also i'll do so the second solution will be the second solution uh, u is equal to this is y by x square plus y square now i am going to differentiate with respect to x as well as y so if i am going to differentiate with respect to x so do u by do x value will be so with respect to x y will be constant and as you know the derivative of 1 by x the derivative of 1 by x is nothing but minus 1 by x square so this value will be minus 1 by this is x square plus y square whole square and again with respect to x this will be 2x so do u by do x value will be this is minus 2xy by x square plus y square whole square and this will be equation number 1 or a and next one what is u given u is equal to this is y by x square plus y square now i am going to differentiate with respect to y so do u by do y value will be do u by do y value will be as you know that it is of uv rule so the derivative of u by v value will be this is v square v u dash minus u v dash so if i substitute in this this will be see here this will be v square x square plus y square whole square and this is v and for u the derivative is one and again i'm leaving u v with respect to y this is 2y therefore do u by do y is equal to this is x square plus y square minus 2y square by x square plus y square whole square and do u by do y value will be x square minus y square by x square plus y square whole square and this is equation number 
B. And now again I am going to use which method? Milne's Thompson method. According to the Milne's Thompson method. Again we have, so it's also very simple, f of z is equal to, see here, f of z is equal to, this is u plus iv. If I make a derivative with respect to x, this will be dou u by dou x plus i into, this is dou v by, again dou x. So now, so we have uh, the real part u is given, so we don't have this imaginary part. So now I have to transform these. So I am using CR equations. According to the CR equations, we have dou u by dou x is equal to, this is dou v by dou y. And next, dou u by dou y is equal to, this is minus dou v by dou x. So, we have dou v by dou x. In place of dou v by dou x, I am going to write minus dou u by dou y. So, if I write so, then what happens here? See here. Then f dash of z value will be, f dash of z, z will be this is dou u by dou x in place of dou v by dou y i am using cr equations in place of dou v by dou y i am writing minus dou u by dou y this is minus this is dou u by dou y already there is minus here i here so from which equations we have dou u by dou x and dou u by dou y from equation a and b I am going to substitute those values. So, what is equation A? I am showing this equation A, dou u by dou x as dou u by dou x as this one. So, if I substitute the value of dou u by dou x and dou u by dou y from 1 and 2, from A and B, sorry, from A and B in this equation, then f dash of z value is equal to dou u by dou x value is minus 2xy by x square plus y square whole square. And next, according to equation number b, this is minus i times of, this is minus i times of dou u by dou y value is nothing but x square minus y square by x square plus y square whole square. Now I need the analytic function. So according to the Milne Thompson method, I have to replace, see here, replace x by z and next y by 0. So if I substitute so, then this will be f dash of z value will be in place of y0, this is minus i times of, this is z square minus 0 and this is z square power square and f dash of z is equal to minus i times of this is z square by z power 4 and f dash of z is equal to minus i times of this is 1 by z square if i cancel with 2 times and see now the value will be if i derive with respect to this is minus i by this is z square. If I make a integration on both sides, that is integral dz and this is also integral dz and this value will be integration and derivative got cancelled and we got the analytic function f of z as this is uh, 1 by z minus 1 by z square is nothing but plus 1 by z and this is our analytic function. And the next one here is, so if we go further, f of z is equal to minus i by z is nothing but x plus i y. And if I multiply with x minus i y and x minus i y plus c and f of z value will be. So if I multiply with x into i and i square this is minus, minus into minus plus by this value is x square plus y square. So f of z is equal to y by x square plus y square plus i times of x by x square plus y square. Therefore, the real part u is equal to, the real part u is equal to, this is y by x square plus y square and the imaginary part is x by x square plus y square and here is the analytic function. So, this is how we have to solve and this is so simple if you follow these steps. Then definitely you can solve by your own and this is how we have to solve and uh, if u is given, the real part is given, I, have, I found uh, the imaginary part as well as the analytic function. This is 
how we have to use the milli somson method hopefully you understand this video if you don't understand please go through this video for one more time and definitely you can understand if you really like you know pass it on to your friends subscribe to this channel and please take time to raise your thumb thank you so much